hey hi guys welcome back to coding what today in this video we are going to see one more aws service that is aws s3 so in this like we are going to create a simple spring boot microservice using that microservice we will be uploading the file to s3 and we will downloading the file from the s3 let's start with configuring your spring boot application so i am going to spring boot initializer so this is my Spring Boot initializer where I have selected project as a Maven, Java, 3.2.4. Then I have given name as a Spring, Spring AWS. Okay. So I am keeping packaging as a jar and Java as a seventeen. So we are going to create a web application. That's why, like I have selected Spring Web. We using that we will be creating our endpoints. Okay. So there will be a two endpoints. One is to upload the data. One is to download the data. So let's go one by one. To reduce the length of this video, I have created that. Uh, I have coded already. Now I will go into. I will explain you that step by step. So I am coming to. Okay, guys. So I am coming to my STS. So after downloading that project, I have imported that project in my. STS. Okay, so I have these three files. Let's say, like apart from that, apart from that dependency, I have added one more dependency that is our AWS Java SDK. Okay, now, now you have seen that configuration of our Spring Boot application. Now, first configure our STS. Configure our Amazon Amazon S3 bucket. Okay. So I have I have opened my so this is my test account where like we are coming we are on on S3 page you can directly search S3 and if you click here you will land on this page okay so currently there is no bucket so I am going to create a bucket so if you click here so it is asking your AWS region default will will be a north one now i'm giving my bucket name so i am giving coding world as my bucket name so you can choose all bucket bucket from already buckets so i'm not using that i'm keeping as it is so object ownership that acl is disabled i'm keeping as it is block all public access i have enable that now bucket versioning you can enable that so that your file will be having multiple version so your file will be having multiple versions whenever you upload same file with the updated version so tag i am not giving server side encryption i am keeping as it is this bucket key i am as keeping enable now click on this and your bucket will be created okay super so i am using this bucket name to put the our file into our s3 bucket okay now i am coming to my spring boot application so i have copied that now let's go to our application.property where we will be having our all aws access okay now before coming before coming here we have to like this aws we we have created this AWS uh, S3 bucket. Now to upload the data from local, uh, you need some authentication, correct? So to do that authentication, we have to create our access key and secret key. So for that, you have to go into go to your IAM role, okay? So here you will be having your users, okay, which you are using to authenticate with your AWS account. So I have created one user, okay? If you come here. This is my coding world is my user. Okay, if I click that user, you will be having this permission, group, tag, security credential, access advisor. From this, we have to go to your security credential. So, how many ways you can you can connect with your application, connect with your AWS S3 account? There are multiple ways. Okay, multi-factor authentication, access key, then public SSS key for AWS code commit all these things are there okay from this we have to 
use access key okay so create access key if you click here i have already created one access key this is my access key so here you will be having you will be having your aws access key and access secret okay so you can use this credential to authenticate your local server with your aws account and apart from that you will be having your default region and this is your bucket okay so this is it for your aws configuration so now using this configuration you have to put the file into a this coding world bucket and download from that now let's jump to the our code so i have five five files okay so where we will first see amazon config okay so here i have created our amazon s3 object okay b so where i am giving a aws basic basic credentials where access key and secret key i have given i have given the region then aws static credential provider i have given now using this you will be creating amazon s3 bin and which will be accessible all over application okay now coming to our controller so i already told you that like we have our two endpoints one is upload and one is download so in upload we are getting multi part file and that we are passing to your file upload download service and in the end i am passing file uploaded successfully this is a sample application guys so that you can use this application and extend this version so here i have not written a fancy code i have written a basic skeleton which you can extend and you can proceed on your application proceed on your project okay so second is download now in download you will be giving a file name that file name i am passing to the service that service is returning me resource i am writing this resource into our body and i am creating octet stream okay okay so let's open this service and check what is exactly there so i have my bucket name so using aws using amazon s3 object we will be having a put method there are multiple methods guys from that you can right let me call this okay if you use this put method you will be having you will be having object let let me write down here okay if i do the control here now if you hover here you will be having object metadata okay now if i copy this object metadata let's create metadata is equal to name this is a class and i am creating object metadata so this metadata i will be passing to our application so in this what what we have to do let's say we will add metadata dot set is their name cache control content type expiration date expiration rule all this information we have to you can set and that will be used by your let me check is there any bucket name kind of things okay there is no such thing like this is information which you can pass to your bucket which will be having your expiry date like a content type and all those information will be there so this after this like object i am putting this file uploaded successfully i have not written try, try catch and all those things you can write yourself and do so download in this i am taking a file from this like i am calling this get get object method i am passing a bucket name file name it will give me my s3 object from this like i am reading the content it is returning byte array byte array from byte array i am creating a resource which is byte array resource and in the end i am returning the resource so this is it guys this is a simple like a uh, application which i have written let's run and check this how it is working okay
Now let me run this application. I will run this in debug mode so that if anything happened wrong, we can able to test that. Okay, this hello I have printed to check that my service is up or not. Okay, our application has been started. So coming to my post, coming to my postman. So I have to, I have to. This I tested previously before our application. Okay, so I have these two endpoints. One is upload, and one is download. So in upload, let's say like a, I have upload. I am going to upload one. Let me. This is MongoDB file which I have in my local. Okay, so let's say click on this and try to upload. Okay, post. Hit zero zero upload and I am going to hit this. It is taking time. It is authenticating. Oh, super! And finally, file has been uploaded. Okay, great. Okay, so let me go to our bucket and check like what is there in our bucket. So I am going to S three. I'm opening bucket. Oh, super! This file getting uploaded. Now this is uploaded as a file instead of that file name. That you can state that like properly using multicart and all those. Okay. Now I want to see this file is the one which I have uploaded. Okay. So let me download this. You can download from here also. So. Oh, this is my file, like MongoDB Spring Boot Crud App tutorial. So this is one of my like a thumbnail which I created, and I tried to upload that into S3. If you if you not seen this MongoDB Spring Boot Crud tutorial, please do watch it. Okay. So this that means like we have uploaded our file successfully. Now this I downloaded directly from our S3 packet. Let's use our another endpoint, and from that we will be okay. Downloading our file. So this this is my endpoint which I can use. Let's say copy. This is my. I can hit this from our Chrome also. Okay. So guys, like local host eight zero zero download question mark file name as equal to file. If I download this, if I click it, oh super. It has downloaded one file with a name as a null, and this is our perfect file. Okay, this is the file which we have uploaded. That means it is upload downloaded successfully. So while downloading, to give that file name, we can write code and we can change that file name. Okay, here like a resource uh, file name. We are going to uh, we are adding here. Correct. So this you can change code and you can do the thing, which I am. Like I have not done that, but you can go and extend that. Okay, so super guys. So you, you like that? Like we have seen that how to upload the file, how to download the file using the Spring Boot microservice. Okay, so if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share with share with your friends. Okay, thank you so much. Happy coding.